Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Pteranodon Media's Show and Tell What the Hell. Sponsored by, I'm going to make up a sponsor. Sponsored by Get Lucky Bastard Shaving Club. Shave your testes. Anyway folks, uh, I have a special figure here for you guys. And I wanted to celebrate, um, I guess, that I now have over 100 subscribers. Or exactly 100 subscribers. So I've had this channel on for a while. And the more fun little videos I decided to make for myself... People just started kind of gravitating. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like the way the internet works. Because uh, I really don't go out and say, You gotta subscribe to us! So I like to tell people, Hey, you know, with whatever I have, whether it's, uh, you know, Facebook sites for bands or Instagram stuff, I kind of like to do it organically. I like people to find it. You know, I kind of get a kick out of that. So I'd be very interested in knowing how some people are finding this stuff. Um... But, you know, occasionally I will get some stupid-ass comments. So I accept that because a lot of them come from me. <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, this is a uh, custom uh, Crimson Ghost, or some people know him as The Fiend uh, from the band The Misfits. And I am a big fan of the band The Misfits, uh, or Misfits. And uh, just I've always been a huge fan of Misfits. I actually had a band... Uh, way back in the 90s. Back in the 1990s! Yo! Um, yeah, back in the 90s, my first band was... Did, we did, like, just, I don't know, every single Misfit song uh, possible. Covered them all. And, uh, yeah, I want to say we were a blatant ripoff. But I've always um, been into Misfits, and I wanted to combine two figures, two ideas. Some of my customs involved doing two ideas. I wanted to get a Masters of the Universe Classics body uh, and uh, make a, uh, a what if, <clears throat> what if the Crimson Ghost existed in this uh, reality? Uh, let's see. Let me pull up a Hordak just so you can get a, 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 uh, a idea. A very, uh, he's actually kind of dusty and he's, like most of my figures, missing the accessories because they always fall down. And there's a, a Hordak. Look, oh, made him fall. So, yeah, just to give you an idea of what he looks like. Um, and, of course, I got the new diorama hanging out in the back. I just had fun with that last week. Um, made that in a few hours. It doesn't take me too, too long. If I'm really, really focused and I have not a lot of time um, to waste. So, if I'm just saying, hey, I need to get this all done in one sitting, then I will. Uh, let's get Skeletor. By the way, apologies for anyone that got offended by Skeletor coming over and invading my show. He's a very naughty boy. But yeah, that's him next to Skeletor. I like things with hoods and skulls. That's just so cool. And, uh, um, I just wanted to give you all a little treat. And if you want to see some more of my custom work, um, I do post stuff on my personal Instagram and uh, the Pteranodon Media Instagram will post some of my stuff as well. And I'm looking for other places to start. Ma I, I like the websites, the Foosh. I usually visit, I usually visit that site, thefoosh.com, or is it .net? I have it saved, uh, along with um, Figure Realm. I like to Figure Realm as well. Um, there's a, when I work on Transformer stuff, I usually hit up TFW or Cybertron or Sabertron. Um, and sometimes he-man.org, where I'll post some of the stuff. But it's been a while since I've actually shown off some of my custom work, so I will try to make a habit of doing that more often if people want to see them. Uh, let's get a look around. Yes, yes, very nice figure, very nice figure. And a lot of people don't know with custom figures, um, you know, they're not really meant to be handled consistently, um, just like prototypes. When they put out a prototype of a figure, it's hand-painted, and uh, some of the joints aren't super, super tight. These, this is a final product. And uh, so, yeah, that's how um, a, a most of these um, custom works. But I've been doing customs, man. I want to say... Um, I want to say mid-90s. Mid-90s, I started pulling out, like, little Toy Biz figures and... I think, no, actually, no, no. I saw the movie Darkman. Darkman, uh, and I 
had this Superman figure that whose face got chewed up by my dog. And it was a superpower Superman. And I took that and I got medical tape. And I got Bob the Goon's hat. And I got that uh, really sticky med white medical tape and just wrapped it around his head. And used red marker and uh, paint it with a Sharpie or with a permanent marker. They didn't have too many Sharpies out back then. With a permanent marker that probably got me high that day. I uh, started painting the whole body black and had the Bob the Goon hat and the, the wrapped up face. And that's what I, I, I got a figure that I felt couldn't be used anymore. And instead of throwing it away or giving it away, I said, you know what? Let me turn it into something brand new, which is what I like to do with a lot of figures. And uh, very happy how this guy came out. I actually did one version of him before. Didn't like it and read it some stuff. Did some sculpting. Um, overall, just a pretty fun little addition to the collection and uh, anyway folks uh, i'll catch you later thanks again for anyone that just randomly finds me and decides that they want to subscribe so till next time folks we'll see you later on